Hey traders, Kill Stokes here with Tier 1 Trading and welcome back to another episode of The Trading Edge. No camera today, if you can't tell by my voice, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather and uh, well, let's just say my face is not one that you want to look at today. Not that it's one you want to look at any day, but particularly in today, it's pretty bad. So we'll just stick to the charts. But what I want to show you today is a trading opportunity on the Euro dollar. We're actually going to talk about two trading opportunities. Uh, tomorrow is a big news event. We have our non-farm payroll coming out along with uh, unemployment claims and average hourly earnings. Uh, it's called Jobs Friday for you guys that are new. It's typically nine out of 10 times. It's the first Friday of each month. And it's a news event that the market likes to wait for and it likes to go a little bit crazy. Now, we haven't seen uh, the same reactions in the last couple years that we did in the past as the job number hasn't really been the main focus of the economy and whatnot, but it still is a day or a news event that you want to be aware of. And it happens 8.30 New York time uh, this Friday. So let's talk about two situations right here, because there are, there are two types of traders. There are, there are the traders that are going to try to trade the news event, and there are the traders that are going to try and wait till after the news event and make a decision based on uh, what price has done afterwards. So let's start off with the traders who don't care about the news event. You're not avoiding it. You're not necessarily trying to trade it. You're just sticking to the technicals and you're doing what you're supposed to do. If we go down to the daily chart here on the euro dollar, you'll notice that we have ran up into a previous level of structure resistance, right? This was an area where in the past we had looked for a potential reversal. We saw the market consolidate up here. We actually distributed a little bit. So we, we broke to the downside. We had a head and shoulders and I thought we'd see a continued move to the downside, but that just wasn't the case. We've now come up to that previous level of resistance and you can see price action is testing it again. We've come up to it over the last three days. We've held steady, which we would expect going into tomorrow's news event. And we're at a level where if you were to get involved in a trade, you're going to have a very low risk. And I say that because, well, we know exactly where our stop losses to be, the way I teach or where our stop losses need to be. The way I teach, I always like to have my stop losses beyond structure. And seeing that we are right at a structure level, right? You can see that our stop loss doesn't have to be that far away from our entry, which is a, a good thing. So Here's what I would be looking for. Price action has rallied up into our level of resistance. Our RSI has gone overbought. That is the uh, relative strength index. It has gone massively overbought. I, I keep mine uh, at 80 and 20, so I'll, I already look for those extremes. And it looks like price had come up to uh, about 85 or whatnot. And if we go down to the four hour time frame here, right, you can see we have a nice symmetrical double top. And this is called, this is a simple pattern formation called a double top formation and essentially it is exactly what it sounds like it is price action comes up oh, let me change the color again i've been doing some training lessons so i've been using the white charts price action comes up we create an initial top you can see the rsi the relative strength index has gone over bought at this level so we can throw a little arrow on there to mark our overboughtness. This pink dotted line, by the way, that's the, the extreme highs of that previous uh, resistance level I showed you on the higher time frame. Price action has come up. We have retraced. Buying pressure made another run at that level. And so far, we have refused to violate it, meaning that, meaning that we do not have a higher high, higher close. So far, we're being met with selling pressure at this level, and we have a double top as well as what we call bearish divergence. And essentially what divergence is, is when your price chart, right, is doing something different or opposite than your indicators. You can see price here is making equal highs. Your indicator here is making lower highs. That's called bearish divergence. It's a sign, you know, not, a, not a say all be all, but a sign that we may be losing steam and we may, uh, we may see some type of relief. So for you guys looking to trade this double top pattern, right? Again, we know exactly where our stop losses need to be. If you were to enter at market right now, we know that stops need to be above our previous level of resistance. That level of resistance is right here at your pink line. So you're looking at a stop loss of maybe something like this. Obviously you wanna base your stop loss off of your rules for how you place a stop loss. Where can we go? 
Well, a conservative level is going to be a retest of kind of the, the V bottom point of this double top right here. A little bit lower level would be our previous structure uh, highs right in here, right at about, uh, looks like about 1960s, 1950s. So either way you cut it, not a bad counter trend trading opportunity. You're getting about a, a two to one risk reward, which is a, a, good, a, good, uh, a good ratio that you'd like to have. Now, the second opportunity I want to discuss is, well, let's let's plan ahead. Again, we one of the things we want to do in trading is we want to be predictive in our analysis, reactive in our execution. So we always want to try and stay two and three steps ahead of the market. And what I mean by that is we don't know what the market is going to do, right? We never know what the market is going to do. However, we can prepare. And, and this is something that we use called a, an if-then thought syntax, right? If-then thought process where you're saying, okay, well, if this happens, then this is what I would predict. Or if that happens, then this is how I would like to get involved. And it makes trading very simple. It makes it kind of binary, kind of robotic, where it's just ones and zeros. It's black and white. Um, takes a lot of the subjectivity out of there, allows it to be a much more consistent trader. And well, consistent analysis plus consistent execution often equals consistent results. So let's say we do get a, um, a negative reaction to tomorrow's news event, tomorrow's non-farm. I don't know what it's going to be. Right now, the market doesn't really care about <laughs> the favorable dollar news, in my opinion. We're kind of on autopilot. We've, we've already priced in these projected rate hikes and whatnot, and I don't think there's any thing that is going to surprise the dollar as far as the the bullish side goes. Maybe when we get our new Fed chair in, in February, he'll come in and say something. But it looks like the Fed is going to, looks like they have a plan. They're going to stick to that plan. And it's just going to be a, a very consistent, monotonous uh, um, hiking of interest rates. So the market's kind of like, OK, we know the story. Nothing to get surprised over. But you never know. So let's say we get some negative news and we see some uh, dollar weakness. We get some euro strength and we see a break and close above this level, right? Well, a break and close above this level, a higher, high, higher close would give me confirmation. It would, well, it would allow me to predict that we're likely to see a move higher. And now we're going to talk about really a, a big picture opportunity, right? So let's go out to the weekly. Um, so we're going to go really, really, really long term. Let's say we break above this level. Let's say we break above our previous level of resistance here. Well, the question that I want to ask myself is where can price go next? And there's a few levels in here. We're, we're running into a previous level consolidation. So there, there are some minor structure levels in here, but there's really no major level of structure until we get all the way up here to about a dollar forty. I know I know that seems like a, a far way away, but you know, trust me, give it give it some time, right? There's no real major structure in here. And one of the tricks that I like to use is, is not tricks, but a, a technique I like to use is looking for a one-to-one -one measured move. So if the market is moving harmonically, if it's trending very nicely, we see equal measured moves in the market. So what I want to do is I want to take the length of this move right here. I want to copy and paste this. I want to paste it on to our retracement, the lows of our retracement. And I can predict if we get a one-to-one -one measured move, that's going to land us right up here around, let's just call it a 133 even, so $1.33. And this gives me a nice little price projection right here. Now, I can also use some other tools to help uh, build reason for entry or build a case for this price point. I can use a Fibonacci uh, extension tool. So I can take an extension of our previous swing low to swing high, right? So swing low to swing high and back down. You're going to see that I have two levels right here, a 127 extension. This is typically the first spot we would look for price to extend to um, once it breaks a previous level of structure. And I have a 1618 Fibonacci extension as well, the golden mean, right? This is kind of the, the secret fib, right? If, if you believe in that type of stuff, um, coming up right around that 133 level. If I also take my Fibonacci retracement tool and, and drag it from our previous swing high to swing low here, you're going to see I get some pretty decent Fibonacci confluence. I'm going to get, what is this, uh, 618, the other golden mean, lining up right with my 127. And I'm going to get a 786 lining up right with this 1618. So we have some pretty decent Fibonacci confluence here. So if we end up getting a break and close above this level, that's going to set us up for future. And this is a longer term idea, guys, but that's going to set us up for future trend continuation opportunities, looking for A, a move to about $1.26, and then B, 
a move to about a dollar 33 so something you definitely want to put on your radar for you longer term traders um, just in case we see that violation tomorrow so lastly before i leave I want to share with you a quick story i, I got a question today from a, a newer trader that started following me on twitter and he said, hey, Kale, can't wait for the launch of uh, you and Jason Greystone's uh, new venture. I just have a question for you. He said, I'm 49 years old. Is that too late to learn? I said, you know what? It's never too late to learn, right? The, the way I see it, you should be learning each and every day. I, I plan on learning something on my deathbed. Um, and it, it's one of those things where the mindset we have to have is we should always be learning, whether it's in life, whether it's in trading, right? We should never become comfortable. We should never become stagnant because the minute we do is the minute that either someone else is going to take our spot or something else is going to take our money. And that something else would be the market. And trust me, in my years of experience in the market, market conditions change. Yes, there are certain principles and techniques that withstand the test of time, but you have to be adaptable. You have to be able to adjust to the different market conditions because if you don't, you're going to be one step behind and the market's going to eat you alive. So for me, every time I come into the market, it's a learning experience. And I think that's a good mindset to uh, a good mindset to keep. And a great video, if you guys haven't watched already, uh, Jason Greystone did a video on his YouTube page. Uh, I think it's on the tier one trading page as well. Uh, talking about one percent change, it's it's a it's a a theory, it's a, it's it's a, a principle that both of us are, are very strong, uh, feel very strongly about about the Kaizen philosophy of continuous improvement, and just if you can change your life by one percent each day, it just sets you on a totally different path than what you were on before. So, never stop learning, always stay hungry. I appreciate you guys joining me. I'll get this video out to you. Hopefully the sound comes through okay. You can see my, my voice is losing it. Good luck in the markets tomorrow. Until next time, plan your trade, trade your plan. And of course, if you haven't done so already, make sure you register over at www.tier1trading.com. I've been getting a lot of questions about how much are the services going to cost? When are they launching? If you're signed up, all of that information will be given to you as soon as it's released. So just do that. All right. Take care, traders. And if I don't see you before, have a great weekend.